you strike up a conversation with a man, for example, in a grocery store, or when you're out and about, or in a restaurant, or you're standing in line at Starbucks? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share five ways that you can do that and how this is going to totally change your life. So the first tip I have is ask for advice. Men love to help and men love to fix things. We know this, right? Even if they're not like a handyman, they love to fix problems. So when you actually feed into that, they feel really useful and helpful and they want that. A man really wants to feel useful in this world, especially in serving women. I know, it, it's so crazy, right? But men innately really, really want to serve women in order to enhance women's lives. And so when you're, for example, at the, at the lineup at a, a coffee shop, you can ask a man for his advice and be like, hey, like what, what I'm looking for like a different kind of drink than I normally get. What, what, what would you get? You know, that is something a man would love to share with you. It's not asking for advice about how to deal with your mother, right? It's not deep. It's just like engage with a man in a way that he can then provide something for you. Men want to provide. Men are natural providers. That doesn't mean you have to ask him if he's willing to take care of you while you're, you stay at home with the child you're going to have in the future. No, that's not the only way to provide. Providing for a woman is providing service, providing support, providing help. So on, a le on the level of not knowing someone, you can still entice them or invite them to provide or to provide service to you, even when you barely know someone or don't know someone at all, right? So ask him for advice on what he might recommend for you in the grocery store or in a coffee shop. Okay, number two, the second thing that you can do to strike, strike up a conversation is compliment a man. But here's the thing that most women do wrong. We compliment men on things that we want to be complimented on and that we like to be complimented on. So for example, we might compliment him on his looks or his outfit or something, which is like fine. But what, you, what a man really, really values is being complimented on his deeds. So for example, I'll go back to the coffee shop. You walked in the, into the coffee shop, he held the door open, you say thank you, and then you end up in line with him and you say, hey, um, I really appreciate it that you held the door open for me. Thank you so much, right? So you can do asking for his advice and complimenting him, especially after. This is not an exact science, okay? Don't do this to a T because I said so. Just play with it. Do it badly, do it poorly. Because here's the thing, we are so afraid of looking bad. We are so afraid of embarrassing ourselves and like talking to someone who has no interest in talking to us that we just never connect with any humans. A lot of us do this. So I am really, really good at taking a shot at it. And I've been rejected a few times and it doesn't feel good. But at the end of the day, why do I really care? Right? So really consider this, like, why would you care if some stranger at a coffee shop didn't want to strike up a conversation with you when you asked them for advice or complimented them on um, the deed that they did for you? Why, why would you care? Like, just tell yourself to, to go over it, to get over it and be past it, <laughs> to get tell yourself that it doesn't matter because the amount of interactions that you will get far outweigh the few that you won't get and you might feel rejected. Um, so this is the reason we don't actually talk to people in public is because we're so afraid, deathly afraid of rejection. So if you get over that and just push through anyway and do it anyway and tell yourself, it doesn't matter if he rejects me. It's not like he is my husband and he rejects me. Like it's not, it's, he, you don't know him, right? You don't know him and it doesn't matter because the next person, man or woman, is gonna engage with you and have a good time, okay? So last tip on this point is to practice it with other women. You know, sometimes it's much easier to banter and connect with a stranger who's a woman than a stranger that's a man. So so hone that skill, you know, especially after COVID and all the lockdowns and, and all the distancing and all of this, people are so afraid of each other. We have kind of gotten out of the habit of connecting with people naturally. And if you're already naturally like that, then 
it, it's really gotten worse. So practice with women, practice with dogs. You know, if you see a dog on the street and you're like, oh my God, your dog is so lovely or something, just connect to the human attached to the dog and start slowly so that you can work your way up to connecting with men in this way in public, okay? Third thing, it's similar to the first one, and that is ask for help. Men need to feel useful and helpful. Men need and thrive on feeling like they're a hero, feeling like they are making a difference in someone's life. And I see this with Jerry all the time. Like he just loves to support and help and with nothing in return. Like he loves supporting and helping me in our daily life. And I compliment him and, you know, I really truly ask him for help. And the trick is when you are actually asking a man for help is to let A, let him do it. So if you're asking him for help, like lifting something or carrying your suitcase in the airport, like, hey, excuse me, sir, do you mind just, you know, holding my drink while I move my suitcase? Or do you mind just moving my suitcase because I'm like really struggling with my drink or whatever it is, okay? Let him do it. He will trip over himself trying to help you if you ask him. And then what we do is we sabotage it by not fully receiving it. We're, we'll, we're like, oh no, no, I'll help you. Or, oh, don't worry, I can do the rest of the way. Let him fully give to you. If you ask him for help and he's willing to help you, let him fully do the helping in his way, in his full, complete way, okay? So, but you have to be brave enough to ask for help and have the knowing that you deserve help. That it's not about whether you are able to carry your suitcase yourself or not. Of course you're able. It's not about that. You want to learn how to receive more easily because men love women who receive, who are able to receive. And men love even more women who know how to ask for help and are, are okay with receiving it. Okay, so that is a really great connection point. And it could even be in the grocery store. Excuse me, sir, could you help me get that cereal box from way up there? I'm just not able to reach it. Oh my God, they will, any man will fall all over themselves. Young, old, middle, someone you're attracted to, someone you're not attracted to. Just practice with anybody asking for help. All right, number three, show interest in a man's opinion. Men want to be valued just like we want to be valued but it's a little bit tricky because a lot of us women do this we ask for someone's opinion and then don't take it which is your prerogative okay but when a man is asked for his opinion and you don't take it that can feel to him like he doesn't he he is not respected you don't respect him so ask a man for his opinion on something that doesn't matter to you that much and that you truly want an opinion on and then do it. So if you're asking a man for his opinion on what drink to get, then get it. Get the one that he said. Now, if you really don't want to, you, you don't have to, of course, but start practicing asking people for their opinion and then actually doing the thing that they suggested. It won't kill you, and it's going to make especially a man feel really good that he was heard and that you respected his opinion. All right. So that's a bit of a tricky one. You get to practice that one. And let me know in the comments below if you've ever done it, if it has worked, and if you're planning on trying this method again that I'm talking about today. And if you've liked this video so far, please make sure that you subscribe. Here's the reason why. Most of you just watch my videos and don't subscribe, which is totally fine. I'm super happy you're here. Give it a thumbs up at least. I would love that. But here's the thing. It, it actually allows me to make more videos when I have the momentum of more followers. So, and it also helps more people see my material and get help and hopefully get into happy, healthy relationships. So help a sister out, put me, you know, put a thumbs up, subscribe, and, and that helps others as well see more of this kind of material. All right. Number four in uh, meeting men organically and st striking up a conversation is be friendly and approachable. So this is something that most of us do wrong. It is, we are on our phone, we have resting bitch face, which I'm, I'm, you know, not always smiling in the whole world, but I, you know, sometimes I'm 
when I'm around people, I really make sure to smile and have like a lightness to me so that people feel openness from me. I highly recommend that if you are generally a shy person and you're looking down and you um, don't, you know, you don't try, try not to have eye contact or or be vulnerable by smiling, I highly recommend you start coming out of your comfort zone a little bit and start talking and smiling with people. Because someone like me, I can make anyone smile and talk to me because of what I initiate. But if you are if you are introverted yourself, you're waiting for others to maybe talk to you, that's not gonna work all the time. Sometimes it does, but you need to be um, open approachable, initiate maybe, and that openness and approachability consists of looking up, looking around, looking people in the eye, making a nod, um, smiling, you know, there's a kid who can't decide which cookie to take, smiling at the mom, like, got, you know, I got you, even if you don't have kids, like, just be friendly in general. This is so generous, right, to acknowledge people, pardon me, to acknowledge people for existing, for having life, for just being out there. And that is considered openness. Openness and approachability. If you're in your phone or just looking down, you're not approachable. So you can have your moments, but if you're wanting to practice meeting people organically, this is a practice I highly recommend on a daily basis to start doing if it's not your natural way of being. All right. I am going to leave that one there. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I publish two videos every week. So stay tuned, more to come. Bye for now.